Okay, so, um, I've got some splaining to do. Haven't uploaded in like two months, so I'm like a little, a little tiny bit like unprepared for this. I haven't played a Minecraft map in two months, so it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little hard today, maybe. Um, I got a new computer, so I've got super loud fans. I'm using a notepad, like a paper notepad, as a mouse pad right now. And I mean, I have to use whole new editing software. So that's great. But oh, and I can't even figure out how to change my perspective. I pressed all the buttons, and I I just can't figure it out for the life of me. So you're looking at this guy's face. But anyway, we can look at my in the inventory though. All right. But anyway, what's up? Hi. If you're new here, go hit that subscribe button because why not? I mean, like it's free. So like. Why not? Alright, but anyway, back to the video. We are playing a Minecraft map today. I'm moving my hands and you can't see it, so like, yeah. Alright, so we're playing a Minecraft map. It is called Evidence Case. It is called Evidence Case. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh, I got a smoking pipe. Okay, we have the rules. Game mode 2, adventure mode, do not kill mobs. Okay, and I'll leave all that stuff down below. Okay, we can't go in here, we're not allowed. Okay, we're not killing mobs. So, I can't go in there either. Oh no, I locked myself in! Okay, see, I, I'm struggling! Ugh! Oh, it's a person. Oh my god, look at how cool this guy looks! Okay, talk to the doctor. Do we have to press this? Yes, we do. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Hal Halbury. Good morning, Dr. Zero. What do the morning newspapers write? In the newspapers, everything is calm, but in fact, crime is thriving. You have received a new letter from Mr. Lucas Morin. He asks us to investigate the case of the murder of Sir Hugo Bummington. He was found dead in the garden of his estate. So, after a cup of morning tea, we will immediately go to the Bummington Manor. Okay, go to the manor. <gasps> ooh! 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 It is fancy! It is nice! Alright, I have to talk with Dr. Morin. Look at these guys! Look how cool this guy is! This is Dr. Zero. Look at how cool it is! Look at, little, look at the little monocle. That's so bomb. Alright. No, we're talking to you. Dr. Morin, your color name is pink. I like it. Alright. Oh, Mr. Halbury, it's good that you came. I already thought that you would give up the case. My name is Lucas Morin. I'm the local doctor, and I am Mr. Hugo's friend. Glad to meet you, doctor. Tell us about this incident. Did you find the dead Sir Hugo? No, he was found by the gardener, Nedward. He has served for a long time in the estate Bummington. Who else lives on the estate Bummington? The chef and wife of Mr. Hugo still live in the estate. Doctor, tell me, did Sir Hugo leave a bequest? Yes, his condition was estimated at 100000 I think, and the estate was divided between his wife, brother, servants, cook and gardener, and another part was written on me and Mr. Frank Filden. And who is Mr. Frank? Friend of Mr. Hugo. They served together. Hugo quickly left the army, and Frank rose to, to the rank of colonel. Now he retired and sits down on his farm. If necessary, I will give him the address. Thank you. And you do not know the address of Sir Hugo's brother. I know he lives on T Street. His name is Thomas Bummington. He's the younger brother of Hugo. Uh, this is Dr. Zero. Halbury, is there not a trace of violence on the corpse? How was he killed? I can assume it, that it was poisoning. As a doctor, I do not see such ghosts for the first time. Thank you for helping with the investigation, Dr. Morin. Halbury, I seem to have found playing cards. Maybe Sir Hugo was going to the park to play with someone in the cards. Okay, that was so fast. I'm like, out of breath. All right, we're going here. This is nice. This is fancy. Okay, right, we have four tasks. Okay, we gotta talk to the gardener, we gotta talk to the cook, we gotta talk with Mrs. Bummington, and we gotta find the evidence in Mr. Bummington's room. So let's start with talking with the gardener. Okay, we're outside. Okay, this is probably the gardener right here. This is nice. Like, these people are so nice. Okay, talk with the gardener. Okay. We gotta get ready. 
person talking. Look how, look at, can we just take a second here to appreciate how beautiful this villager is? Like, they've got the shears and everything. Gorgeous. Okay. Talk to the gardener. Good afternoon. I'm Detective Halbury. I'm investigating the case of the murder of Sir Hugo. Tell me, did you find him first? Did you first find him dead? Yes, Sir Hugo loved going to the garden and reading a newspaper. By the way, my name is Nedward Green. I found Sir Hugo lying by the pond. It was creepy. Mr. Green, do you know why Sir Hugo might need a playing card? It is likely that he wanted to meet with someone from, from his friends. He sometimes liked to play cards with them, and he took it very seriously. I noticed he was very prepared for this and often used his new perfume. Thank you for your help. Okay, so we know that he was going to play cards with his friends. Alright, we gotta talk to somebody else. We gotta talk to like three people. So, we gotta search. We gotta search for some peeps. Okay, oh, there's somebody here. Oh, this is a chef. This is a chef. Good, 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 good. Is that a knife back there? Alright, we're gonna talk. Okay, gotta prepare. <gasps> Alright. <laughs> talk. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Detective Halbury. I'm investigating the murder of Mr. Hugo. <gasps> I understand that you were his cook. Right. My name is Benjamin Rodman. I feel like I'm mispronouncing all these names. I've been working in... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've been working in the Bummington State for a long time. Mr. Hugo loved my dishes very much. And what else can you tell about Mr. Bummington? What did he do? I do not know much about his affairs but I know that he often liked to invite his friends to dinner. And who exactly did he invite? Colonel Thilden and Dr. Maureen, his best friends, often came here. He played cards with them. Mr. Maureen did not much like this occupation, but Mr. Thilden was an avid player. Sir Hugo did not treat us as servants, but as friends. Therefore, he often invited me to play with them. Well, Mr. Rogmu? What is Rogmu? Yeah, it's Rogmu up there. Okay, anyway. What's with the package in your pocket? It's rat poison. I took it from our gardener, Ned... Nedward Green. I kill the rats. These creatures often steal food from the kitchen. Thank you for helping the investigation, but I'm probably looking at the poison. Ooh, wait! Didn't he say that he was poisoned? He took it from... Wait, is this the rat poison? Yes, he took it from the gardener, but he was killed with poison, so the gardener did it. Boom, I've already figured it out. Talking with one more person, and then we're doing something. Oh, there's God, look at this villager! She's so pretty! Okay, talk to the Scarlet. Good afternoon, I'm Detective Halbury. I'm investigating the murder of Mr. Hugo, and I understand that you are his wife. You are right, Mr. Halbury. I still cannot believe in the death of my husband and all this horror. By the way, my name is Scarlet. I became very forgetful. Mrs. Bummington, did you notice anything strange about your husband's behavior? You know, yes, he was very stressful. He worked a lot with his documents and was often angry, but he never told me anything. Talk to this person. What else am I supposed to do exactly? I completely forget. Wait, Mr. Bummington had a room? Oh, is it his office? <gasps> oh, I found it. Inspect the table. Inspecting. All right, what a strange message. Beware, soon you will die. The letters of these words are clearly cut from the newspaper. Ooh. Oh no! Something bad's gonna happen. I can feel it. Okay, something bad's gonna happen. My inventory's so full right now. It's not even funny. Can we, we can't stack the rat poison. That's kind of sad. All right, we're gonna put all the important stuff in, like the quick bar, and then we're gonna put all this other stuff that I don't need but picked up anyway. Okay, this we need this knife. Like this knife is definitely. And then we're gonna take this evidence. And we're gonna put it here. Okay, I'm screwing everything up! Alright, now, let's go to the gate downstairs. We're gonna carry this knife, because why not? Okay, we're gonna go to the gate! Da -na, da -da 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 we're at the gate, okay. We're going back to headquarters. Okay, okay. okay we're here. I'm at headquarters, wait, where are you? Hello? Oh wait, this is Doctor... I forget your name, I apologize. My sincerest apologeticness. I don't know. Okay, what is this? Alright, go to brother, Mr. Bummington, go to the Thilden's farm. <gasps> we have a choice to make. Very important choice. Very important choice. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. This is a very important choice. I don't think I can make this choice. 
We're going to go to the brother. <laughs> scared me. Okay, we have a task. We have to talk to Thomas Bummington. Thomas. Hello. Hello, sir. I didn't break any... Look at how snazzy this villager looks. Good afternoon, I'm Detective Halbury. I'm investigating the murder of Hugo Bovington. As far as I know, he was your brother. Hello, Detective. I already received a letter from Hugo's wife. The death of my brother greatly struck me. My condolences. But could you tell me about your brother? What did your brother love? What were his likings? He did not have any special tastes, except he loved, he loved his perfume, which I gave him for an anniversary. He often thanked me for them. I, used my, I, used such, I myself used such spirits. Good, and what did your brother dislike? He most of all did not like rats. He forced his servants to poison them with rat poison. It was his most powerful phobia. And the last question, have you read a newspaper yesterday? No, I do not read newspapers. I do not see the point. Once again, I express my condolences. Bye. You have greatly helped my investigation. Okay. We're back. All right, that wasn't that bad. I didn't find any evidence, though. Are right, we going to go to the, the farm. Okay. <gasps> Let's check the pig paddock. The way to talk with the colonel. Person. I'm gonna let all the pigs out. I don't want to because I don't want to be rude, but they deserve to be free. Oh, that's a, that's a not good thing. I found a shovel. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I can break gravel. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, there's rat poison. There's more rat poison. It's not okay. There's a lot of rat poison. What are you doing with rat poison, Colonel? Huh? Huh? Why do you have rat poison in your yard hiding under stuff? We're going to put this on because why not? Um, we got more paper from, and we got a newspaper. Hmm? 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 You, you feel like you're, I feel like I'm onto something here. Okay, we're going to put important stuff. Okay, he's grunting. He's making noise. This is not okay. I'm not okay with this at all. Okay, sir, would you calm down? All right, talk to you. Good afternoon, I'm Detective Halibri. I'm investigating the murder of Mr. Bummington. Murder? Hugo is dead. Yes, Mr. Tilden, but I have a few questions for you. I'm ready to listen to you. Do you know what his problems, do you know what problems Mr. Hugo had? In the end, you were his close friend. He did not say anything about it to me. Good, did you read the newspaper yesterday? Yes, sir. Could you give it to me? Unfortunately, I threw it away. That's a lie! Very sorry, seeing the colonel. Whoa! Wait a second. This guy just lied to me. Wait, 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 wait. Sir? I have this newspaper right here in my hand, and I found it in that chest over there in your house. So you did not throw it away, so you're a liar! Alright, we've got some, we've got some problems, doctor. Let's go see if I can go through here now. No? No, I can't. Oh, there's a button over here. Okay. <gasps> Choose the killer! Wait, what? Oh, no! Dr. Zero, what are the results? In the spirit of Mr. Bummington, I discovered impurities of rat poison. They probably caused Hugo's slow death. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. I've got to pick a... I've got to pick a killer. Okay, let's look at all the evidence. Okay, we've got the chef. I don't think it was a chef. Because the chef had... The chef had cause to have... He had the rat poison, and he had... Paper, he didn't have paper. He had the rat poison. But he had cause to have the rat poison. Because, like, he's a... He's supposed to have the rat poison. Alright, uh, Nedward, he's also supposed to have the rat poison. Because he works for the guy who died. Because he's supposed to have the rat poison. So that's fine. Alright, I did, it wasn't the wife. Like, usually it's the wife, but there is no evidence that points to the wife. Alright, his brother? Maybe. But, I mean, I don't think so. Alright, this guy, I'm thinking is the killer. Because he had rat poison in his yard, hi hidden. He had a newspaper that he told me he threw away. So he's got two strikes against himself. He's got the rat poison, and he's got the newspaper. This guy, I don't even remember who this is. 
I don't even know who this is. So I'm I he's got he's got nothing. All right, we're gonna choose a killer. We're gonna choose the okay, it is a rank. Alright, you are absolutely right! Yes! Colonel, very envious of Mr. Hugo, and when he found out that he had bequeathed 10% of Bummington's fun, he went to kill. He made a threatening note and left it to Mr. Hugo when he came to visit him, and he deliberately cut out the words from the newspaper so that no one would recognize his handwriting. Then he imperceptibly mixed the rat poison in perfume. He buried the poison but threw out the newspaper. Then he called Hugo into his garden to play cards, but the colonel was not even going to go. He knew that Hugo would use the perfume and poison himself. As a result, the colonel was sentenced to eight years in prison. I am an amazing detective. I'm like, I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay. Hey, feeling? Huh? 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 You're a murderer. That's what you are. Oh my god. I'm like, I actually, I figured it'd be like someone who wasn't as obvious. But nope, I was right. And I'm so happy about it. Oh, I'm so, okay. I'm like... I did good. <laughs> I was right. I'm like, whoa. All right. But anyway, guys, you can't even see me. You can't even see my face hole. All right. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. All that other stuff. You know what to do. If you want to play this map for yourself, even though I kind of already ruined the end for you. But if you still want to play it for yourself, try it out. Check out the other endings. If you See what happens if you choose wrong then you can play it for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go see, check out the map creator, check out all their stuff. I'll also leave a link in the description for that below. Alright, but anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye!